These are the strangest stories about lawnmowers. From 2017, homeowner Brian Joel could be seen here mowing his lawn. What could possibly be the problem? Oh, now the issue becomes clear. He cut a word we can't say or even show into his field as a message to his neighbor. And so there's no confusion, an arrow pointed right in the neighbor's direction. Joel did it after his wealthy neighbor built a massive house that blocked his waterfront view in Washington. The house was also painted purple. I call it like it is, you know, and if a guy's being a, a you know, I, I'll call it. It seems to me that when you get to that level of just insane wealth, they think a privilege comes along with that, that that privilege allows them to do anything they want. Joel thought his neighbor would be the only one to see the message. I made the sign so I thought he could see it from the top floor of his house. But millions saw it on Google Earth. A lot of people think you're pointing there, but the arrow is actually pointing the wrong way. I know, I know. So a lot of people want the arrow pointed towards me, and, I, and I, I accept that, I accept that. Also from 2017, who cares if there was a tornado on the way? This man's lawn needed to be mowed stat. At the time when I started mowing the lawn, nothing was in the sky. You know, halfway through the mowing process, uh, they start forming a tornado, and I just keep my eye on it. His wife captured the unbelievable images. She was just taking pictures for the family in South Africa to show them. And, uh, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, I was in the picture. So I'm a organic lemonade stand operator, designer, dog walker, reptile caregiver, lawnmower, professional ring bear. David Smith of North Carolina was an ambitious entrepreneur. But in 2018, he had a scare while selling lemonade. Open the box to him. He grabbed it, pushed the gun at me, and ran away. It was like my heart was beating out of my chest. The nine-year-old says someone held him at gunpoint and robbed him of the $17 he earned that day. Anytime you have an armed robbery, there's a sense of urgency, but you think of a child as young as this being robbed at a lemonade stand. I mean, just when you think you've heard it all, there's something else will surprise you. Smith was going to use the money to purchase a lawnmower for his landscaping business. You're a tough kid. Hear about what happened. When Lowell's heard the story, they gave him one. Thank uh, you so it's pretty much. cool with what you want to do at such a young age. The community also came together to raise $200 for this budding businessman to help make his dreams come true. In 2022, these flashy vehicles took corners and cut grass for British lawnmower racing. Welcome to the World Championships of the British lawnmower racing. I don't know why people still do it, but it has had 50 years since the port sport was started. And um, there are enough crazy people out there who want to jump on a mower, tweak it up and go hurtling around a field during the summer months and uh, long may it last. It's the only sport where you can get your racing fix and manicure your lawn at the same time. Believe it or not, this Zamboni was originally a lawnmower. Evan uh, likes to refer to it as a Cadillac. She drives like a Cadillac, I guess. <laughs> In 2018, James Dorcas had the idea after trying to manually flood the outdoor community rink. I looked at the wife one night and said, do you mind if I take the lawnmower and make Zamboni out of it? And of course, a lot of my friends thought I was crazy and stuff. When he first told me about it, I laughed a bit. James and his friends turned a 1990 mower into an ice making machine. We took the mower deck off and added some water tanks and a blade for scraping the ice. I've had um, a few people call me and ask to tell me to make sure I get a patent on that. And so they figure maybe I'll be getting lots of orders for these. <laughs> Just seeing the kids in the community come out and use it and uh, use the rink and seeing everybody get a laugh over the Samboni, I guess. And, and that's really been the best part. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.